Alright, what is up YouTube? Today I am going to be talking about how to overcome social anxiety or at least make it to where socializing is a little bit easier and the mindset that you can adopt to make this transformation into quiet, introverted, don't want to talk to anybody ever. Two, you can talk to people, you enjoy talking to people, and you can say what's on your mind and not feel, you, you won't feel like the world is going to end if you say something wrong. So let's get started. So, this video starts off with a story, a story that happened just a few days ago, to be honest. So me and my friend, we were going down to Atlanta and I matched with somebody on a dating app, and uh... We both agreed to like pick her up and just have fun in the city in Atlanta because that's where I live. I live in like the Atlanta area. So we were down there right off the bat, right when we picked this girl up, red flags all over the place. She wants me to lie to her dad about who I am. And I was like, okay, no big deal. I go and do this thing. Like I, I say, I tell her, I tell her dad I'm a different person, but I mess up. I tell her who I am anyways, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> so we go to a parking deck, which is near Georgia Tech. And what happens at Georgia Tech, we just chill out for a little bit. And then we decide to go on a walk outside and just try to find some scooters to ride around the city in. And we find a frat house. This girl is freaking nuts. Like she's talking her ears off this whole entire time. She's saying a bunch of weird stuff. She's talking about her body count. She's talking about like how she can handle two guys. I'm like, this girl is really like, I'm probably gonna catch something if I do something with this girl. So I decided not to make a move on this girl. Like she, I don't know. She was just crazy. So we, end up at this frat house and she wanted to ding dong ditch it. So I go to the bathroom, like there's a porta potty. I go to the bathroom and when I come back, you see her walking away from the door. Um, and this guy fucking running out screaming, does anybody have flowers? And she's like, oh my God, I got flowers. I can get a flower. So she tries to break into this person's property to get a flower, but she couldn't. I don't know what was up with her. I think she was on something to be honest. And then we got in this conversation with two of these guys where she was just trying to convince them to let her in for a solid 20 minutes. And me and my friend were just standing on the side, like just chilling, talking, and like just being like, this girl's crazy, whatever. And at the end of the, like the takeaway from this story is that nothing happened. Like literally nothing happened. This girl broke every social rule she, she was crazy, she she talked to people in crazy ways, she, she lied to people. And at the end of the day, it does not matter. And that's the point I'm trying to get across is that I don't, I'm not gonna like hate her for the rest of my life just because she did that. Like, I don't, I don't care. Nobody cares. The frat boys don't care. My friend doesn't care. Like, it's just a funny story. And that's the thing is if you go out in these social situations and you say something weird or you do something awkward or I don't know, you just, you feel like you messed up. It really does not matter. Nobody's gonna remember you as like a horrible person or like a weird, like they might remember you as a weird person, but if you just keep on talking to them, eventually they'll like understand that you're a cool person. Everybody makes mistakes. Everybody says something weird. And the phenomenon that this mindset <laughs> falls under is called the spotlight effect. This spotlight effect is basically where every, each individual person feels like the spotlight is on them. They feel like everybody's watching them, everybody's criticizing them, everybody's judging them, and everybody's thinking about them in a harsh manner. And whether or not that's true, it really doesn't matter. I don't think that's true for most people. Some people, yes, they will judge you. It's just because they hate their own lives and you can't do anything about that. They're gonna judge you no matter what you do. 
But if you just think of it like this, nobody cares what I'm doing. Nobody will remember a couple weeks from now, something weird I said. Nobody's not gonna be friends with you because you say something weird. Maybe if you say something like super offensive, you should probably avoid that. But even then, it'll just, it'll weed out the people that don't have the same ideologies and values as you. If you say something that's controversial and they don't like that, it'll get them out of your life and attract more people that have similar values and thoughts as you. So basically, yeah, that's, that's the takeaway from this video is the spotlight effect. Basically go out and talk to people and keep on, like I've been doing this, I've been going out and talking to people, striking up conversations and just doing whatever and trying to get rid of my social anxiety or at least alleviate it because it has been a large limiting factor on my life for the better part of my life, to be honest. Ever since I was around 11 years old, I've had a great deal of social anxiety because I was bullied, I was overweight, I had childhood issues, and it just all kind of like permeated my life into a just social anxiousness. And what you do to destroy that is go out and practice and start talking to people and start making conversations, making new friends. Even if it's a friend for a day, just talk to them for a little bit. Um, you see somebody in your class sits right next to you. They don't talk to anybody. You don't talk to anybody. You just be like, hey, how are you doing? I'm like, how are you doing today? And they'll be like weirded out at first, but then they'll start talking to you and that's how you make friends, to be honest. But yeah, spotlight effect. That is the takeaway of this video. I hope you guys got some valuable insight off of this video. If so, subscribe, like the video, share it with your friends, share it with your socially anxious friends that you guys like share social anxiety with. <laughs> I don't even know if that's a thing, but I hope you enjoyed. Tune in for some more content. I'm gonna be making content as much as possible because I really enjoy making these videos. I enjoy helping you guys out. My target audience is young men such as myself that want to become better in fitness, in social life, in dating, and just anything. We're gonna make it. We are going to be amazing. And I believe in you. Go practice out your little things. And I'll see you next time.